Hi guys, so let's have a look at how we emphasise a focal point in an image. Using the blur effect, now we're using Affinity Photo version 2.6 here, which is 2.6 beta by the way, but this works equally well in earlier versions and on the desktop. Although, as I mentioned, this one's on the iPad. So first up, let's load an image. For this exercise, I'll use a supplied image from the stock panel. So you just go to stock and you'll probably find that image there. And locate a suitable portrait. I use this one from Pexels. And you could probably find the same one if you go and look. Now the first thing you need to do is duplicate the loaded image. It's the equivalent of creating a smart object really. All it means is that you can non-destructively edit the image. So let's do this. Load the image you want and carefully place it. Tap Commands, that's those three dots at the top there, and select Duplicate. Your image is duplicated and so now you can deselect the original. And that means unhide it. Take the little white spot out of its dot. You know how to do that. Deselect the original. Now, radial blur. We can now apply live filters to this image without actually modifying the image itself. So one, go to filters and select filters. Number two, select add live filters. Put the little slider to the right there so it lights up. Then select Radial Blur, which is right down the bottom, in the Blur section. Now, Context Toolbar appears on the left. The top one's the Angle, and the bottom one's the Opacity. You can now set the options for your Radial Blur. Hold your pen or finger on the image until the circle appears. Drag the centre of the radial to your centre of focus, and in this case, it's right in the centre of the girl's face, focused on her nose and her upper lip. Touch your pen or finger to the surface for a moment and a focus circle will appear. Drag that to where you want it to be. As I said, the centre of focus. As soon as you set the focal point, as shown previously, then alter the angle slightly. Now you don't need to alter this much, just 3.3 degrees will do. If you make it too big, you'll introduce too much distortion. Not very attractive, I might say. Now, reduce the opacity to about 70%. This smooths out the blur, although you may be hard pressed to see it in some instances. Depends on your image. Adjust it to suit your needs as each image will be different. It's most noticeable around the edges of the image, as you can see there. The girl's face is fairly clear, but her hair right near the front of the photo there is slightly blurred. Now there we are, that one's at 100% opacity, and just to the right it's at 70%. Note the edge blur. You now have the radial blur filter in place, as shown here. Now let's do some fine refining work on this image. The blur filter is a mask actually, and we can edit masks, and that's exactly what we're going to do. You can come back and edit this at any time without affecting the original image. To change the live filter, select the filter layer and tap on the icon. The context toolbar will appear, as it did before. So you can see we've got the radial blur um, effect. Uh, selected there and the context toolbar on the left. Now modifying the blur, select the mask layer now and a suitable brush with a good width. Now I've just selected a round brush there and I've set the width to 40 pixels. That should do for now. It depends on your image a lot. Select the color black. Remember on a mask black reveals and white hides. So let's reveal some detail and selectively unblur some of the image. In this image I've painted the hair in the foreground and away from the face to remove the blur from the hair nearest the camera. The result is that the model's hair is in sharper focus now 
along with some of the boundary just to emphasize the changes. Now you can see the in the radial blur layer you can see where I've been painting on the image to unblur it. Now our next example uses a much wider image and more complex and it's not duplicated and it's locked. So that's quite simple, yes? Using your image still locked, you are avoiding modifications by using the live filter. So select live filters again and you still have full control of the mask. This is putting this is perfect for putting the emphasis on only one person in a shot like this. Here I've sharpened up the woman's face by brushing out the mask layer just in that area. Same as I did before with the brush, select a nice round brush, suitable size, and just brush it around her face there with black and it uncovers the, uh, the masking. The original creative cloud idea is what gave me this idea to do this in Affinity Photo. I hope you're enjoying these design ideas and thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with your friends on social media. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Tap the like option and tap the bell to be reminded of new videos when they appear. Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.